Hi guys, it's Skimboo here, and today what I'm going to be bringing you guys is actually another PC tutorial. Now, in today's tutorial, what I'm going to be showing you guys is how to mod No Man's Sky for PC. Modding on PC is always a big scene, and uh, No Man's Sky is no exception. I did make a video like this way back in 2017, and although the method has not necessarily changed, there are a, a few little things that might have changed here and there, and of course, 2017 was somehow two years ago, so I think it's only right to make a more updated version of this for you guys. So in order to install mods for No Man's Sky on PC, you need to navigate yourself to a website that houses No Man's Sky mods. Now, the website which I usually find to be the best is literally called No Man's Sky Mods. I will include this in the description of the video so you can click on it straight away. However, there are websites like Nexus that do allow for No Man's Sky mods, but generally speaking, this website right here is where you'll find updated ones and newer ones. Nexus has an issue with uh, kind of just having old mods that don't quite work anymore. So before we actually get to, you know, downloading stuff and putting stuff in and all of that jazz, what we first have to do is make sure that the No Man's Sky directory is uh, set up, basically. There is a, uh, a little bit of admin here where we need to create some folders, delete some things, and all of this just ensures that the mods actually install correctly. So first and foremost, what you want to do is navigate to wherever No Man's Sky is installed for you. Now, a lot of people may go to, I don't know, one of their drives, you know, program files 86 and then Steam, Steam apps, common, and then they'll have all your games there. I have installed my uh, my No Man's Sky onto my G drive, so I literally just have a Steam library folder and then Steam apps and common and it's in there. Wherever you have the game installed to, which you can find out on Steam, is where you will find it. But for most people, it will simply be uh, program files 86 on your C drive, Steam, Steam apps, common, and it will be in here for you. But again, depends where you installed it. So this is where I have installed No Man's Sky. You can see here the folder is uh, is just chilling right here. So we're going to crack this open and we're going to head into Game Data, which is the second folder. Go into PC Banks and then this is where we're going to want to start to uh, to do some admin work. So first and foremost, this mods folder right at the top here will not exist. You have to create this yourself. So when you go into this PC Banks folder for the first time, you will indeed have all of these pack files. However, you will not have this mods folder and you will also have a little text file in the place of the mods folder that says something like disable mods.txt. So first and foremost, you want to actually delete that disable mods text file it will be right at the top it will be a, a small little file that you want to delete get it out of here because this prevents mods from working even if you install them correctly this little text file will completely fuck your life up so make sure you get rid of that once that is done you can go ahead and simply right click go to new folder and make a folder simply called mods in all capital letters like so forth so this mods folder is obviously where you're going to put your mods into now you can see here i have three mods installed a grass fix better clouds and they are at this rises color overhaul so you can see here it's nice and clean it says what it is there isn't you know a great deal of files in here it's, it's very simple and it's clean and it's easy to organize this is one of the best things about no man's sky modding is that it is extremely simple because these dot pack files are the only files you're going to be needing when you actually unzip your mod so once you have found a mod which you like for example right here i've just come across a random one which basically gets rid of clouds you know i don't necessarily want this mod but uh, some people might want it once you've made an account on no man's sky mods which you can link with steam if you want makes it a little bit easier you simply go down to this big fat download button right here left click on it and it will download the mod as a .zip file. So I'm going to right click on this and go to show in folder. However, you can go to your downloads or locate it however you want if you're not using Chrome. And we're simply just going to paste that onto our desktop. So once we are back on here, what we can do is uh, just open this zip file right here. And we're going to open it again. You can extract it, but quite honestly, 
you don't really need to. So once you have gone into this zip file and uh, and located wherever the fuck the, uh, the, the pack file is, that is quite literally all of it. You know, most of the time when you open the zip file, there won't be another one inside of it. There will just be a pack file. But if there is, just keep opening things and eventually you will come across a, uh, a simple file, as you can see here, called a PA key or a pack file. And this is literally the only file in the uh, in in the extracted folder. So if you were to properly extract this, it would quite literally give out one single pack file, and that would make it easier if there were say multiple different versions or what have you. So once you have located your pack file, you simply want to go back to your mods folder and just drag it in, and that is quite literally it. So really, that is uh, that is about it. There isn't a great deal more else to do. The only thing which some people like to do occasionally is when they install new mods for the first time, specifically if they're overhaul mods, you know, um, graphics mods, things like that, they will actually delete their shader cache. This is because sometimes the shader cache can fuck around if it's an old one and you've put, you know, graphic altering mods in. It can sometimes make the game a bit weird. It can sometimes make it crash, the frame rate be a bit off, things like that. So really, I would delete your shader cache only if you're installing a big mod, you know, something drastic, something which changes a lot. Other than that, you should be good to just leave it, really. But yeah, guys, that is a very basic modding tutorial. There isn't a lot to it. As you can see, it's very, very simple. You quite literally have to find the .pack file, and once you've found that, drag it in, you're absolutely sorted. Again, just make sure that you are uh, using mods that are up to date. You can do this by going on the website and viewing when this mod was last updated. Now, March 30th, in theory, it should work. And uh, most mods, as long as they're not from, you know, 2017 or 2016, will work. Unless you're on Vulcan on the, uh, the experimental build. In that case, if you're on Vulcan, there are uh, mods which say Vulcan compatible in the title, which is quite handy. But yeah, keep an eye out for uh, for for conflicting mods which uh, which aren't updated and so forth. It can cause crashing, frame rate issues, you know, graphical issues, things like that. So keep an eye out. But yeah. That is, uh, that is basically the tutorial for you guys. So I hope this did help. And uh, as always, if it did help, then please do feel free to leave a like on the video. And as always, I will see you guys on my next video. This is Skimp Boot, signing out.